Hello friends, today is our fifth lecture of our free course on ETAP. In previous lecture, we have covered topics like introduction of ETAP, installation of ETAP, creating a new project in ETAP, creating a single line diagram in ETAP. In today's lecture, we will cover load flow analysis. Before starting today's lecture, please subscribe the channel like and share videos on your social media profiles. It have focus on per unit system. So first we will should understand what is per unit system. Per unit system. The per unit value of any quantity is defined as the ratio of actual value in any unit to the base or a reference value in the same unit. So per unit value is the ratio of actual value divided the base value or a reference value to calculate the per unit value we should select the first of all base selection of base the base values can be selected arbitrary it is usual to assume the base voltage as given below base voltage is called the rated voltage of a machine base current is the rated current of the machine and base impedance is the base voltage and divided by the base current and base power is the multiplication of base voltage and the base current. First, the value of base power and the base voltage are selected and their choice automatically fixes their other base values. Voltage per unit. Per unit voltage is the ratio of actual voltage divided by the base voltage. Per unit current. Per unit current is the actual value of current divided by the base current. Base current is equal to base power divided by the base voltage. Putting the value of base current in the above equation, the per unit current becomes actual value of current into base voltage divided by base power. So the per unit current is expressed in terms of base voltage and base power. Whatever the per unit value we have, we should express in terms of base voltage and base power. Base impedance is equal to the ratio of base actual impedance divided by the base impedance. Base impedance equals base voltage into 1000 divided by base current. The base current is equal to base power divided by base voltage. Putting the value of base current in this equation, it becomes base impedance is equal to base voltage into 1000 divided by base power divided by base voltage. Rearranging the equation, the base impedance becomes base voltage square into 1000 divided by base power. Now putting the value of base impedance in the above equation that is the impedance per unit and that is this equation, it becomes the per unit impedance equals base impedance into base power divided by base voltage square into 1000. Now you have seen that we have expressed all the per units in terms of base voltage and base current, base voltage and base power. See, per unit power is called actual value of power divided by the base kVA, that is the base power. Per unit voltage is called actual value of voltage divided by base voltage. Similarly, per unit current is actual value of current into base voltage divided by base power. Here the per unit is expressed in terms of base voltage and base power. Similarly, per unit impedance is expressed in terms of base power divided by base voltage. Actual that is the per unit uh, impedance is called actual impedance divided uh, into base power divided by base voltage square into 1000. Now, how we select the base voltage and base power in the ETAP system? It have selected 100 MV as a base power as a default for entry power system. The KVA rating of reference point is used along with the transformer terms ratio or applied to determine the base voltage for different parts of the system. I will explain this statement. Let us say the reference point has a voltage rating of 132 kilovolt. If there is a transformer with terms ratio of 
11 by 132 kilo volt connected to this reference point the base voltage on secondary side of the will be base voltage is called the reference value into secondary voltage divided by primary voltage here the reference value is 132 and the secondary voltage is 11 kV and the primary voltage is 123 uh, 132 it becomes 11 kV that is the base voltage is 11 kV this calculated base voltage of 11 kV would then be used for the downstream system component is connected to the secondary side of the transformer that means that whatever the component is coming in the secondary side of the transformer the base voltage is 11 kV thank you